Hello everyone and welcome to this week's After Effects scripting tutorial. In this video, we're going to be going over how to import files into our After Effects project, as well as how to filter out certain file types that we don't want to import. So we're going to have a folder full of three different files here. And with our script, we can either choose to import all of our files, or we can turn on a special function that will filter out JPEG or any extension we put in and import every single file except for that kind. So in this case, it's gonna import everything except for the JPEG file. So as you can see, it's a pretty short bit of code, but we're going to be optimizing everything as much as possible to use as few lines of code as possible to do as much as we can. So to get started, we're just going to open up a new JavaScript file. And we wanna also make sure we have a directory on our computer with some files that will be imported into After Effects. So today's goal is basically just to get them from our computer into the project panel. And from there, you should be able to modify them using more basic scripting functions. So this particular script is not gonna have a UI, but we are going to start off by having a pop-up window to have them select a folder where all the files are. So the way we're gonna do this is we first need to create an object for the folder. So I'll just create a variable called folder and set this equal to a new folder. Now this new folder doesn't exist yet, but we're going to set it up to connect it to a folder on our computer. So in my case, I have on my desktop a folder called file list, and this is going to be where we want to go. Instead of just saying um, this folder is going to be, you know, on my desktop in the file list, we're going to have the user select which folder they want. So the way we do this, we need a folder object. So we're going to grab our folder and say select, and you'll see select dialog and select DLG. These are two different ways it'll appear. Um, I like both of them, honestly. We can put in a prompt to tell them what to do. Select a folder, please. And then close that out. And we also wanna set our folder equal to that because uh, basically whatever they select is gonna to attach to the folder here. So if we run this very simple script, it's gonna load up our window here where we can now select a file, and when we do, or a folder, and when we do, nothing happens. But we now have a variable which stores that information. So now, if you want, you can go ahead and say alert folder.name, and when we click on our folder, we're gonna get file list, which is the name of our folder. So now what we wanna do is grab all of the files inside of this folder. We now have our file list folder. Let's get the JPEG, AEP, and MP4 file out of here. So in order to do this, I'm just gonna create a variable called files to represent all three of these files or however many files you have. And I'm gonna set this equal to our folder. So we're referring to this folder. And what we wanna do is use a function called get files with parentheses. And this will get all of the files within this folder, whether they have an extension or not. So if I say alert files and select my folder, I'm gonna get file1.jpg, file3.aep, and file4.mp4. And of course it has the path as well, but uh, we know that these are the right files. Now let's go ahead and write the code to actually import these into After Effects, and then we'll write a special function to allow us to filter out any files we don't want. So in order to import these, what I'm going to do is create a function called import files. And of course I'll put the text function before it. And the only thing we require to import our files, we're gonna have an argument called files, which we're simply gonna bring in from here. And then all we have to do, create a for loop to run through all of these files, starting at zero, i equals zero. And for i is less than our files.length, increment i by one. And then in order to import any of these files, which requires a file on your computer, we're going to say app, referring to After Effects, dot project, dot import files. And sorry, it's import file. And then in here, we're gonna put the information. So I'm going to, inside the parentheses, create a new, and then using capital letters, we're gonna say import options, and put in our file into here, files i. So just to iterate through this, um, we're gonna grab all of our files, which should give us three, and we're gonna go through all of the files. For every time we go through one of those new files, we're going to create a new import option, which essentially tells After Effects we wanna import whatever file is right here. So now that we have this function, we simply need to run it by saying import files and giving it our files. 
So if we run it and select our folder, you can see we're gonna get a warning saying we need to have some fonts, but you can see we now have our three files imported into the program. Um, there's one thing we can do to prevent that weird font error from coming up saying, hey, you need to install this font, or hey, there's missing files. There is a nice way in After Effects we can get rid of that, and that is by using the app.begin suppress dialogs. And then just like an end undo group and begin undo group, we need to end the suppress dialogs by saying app dot end suppress dialogs. And for this, we have an argument to say false, meaning no, we don't want to show any of these dialogs afterwards. If we say true, it's gonna show these errors up after it's done processing this code. So now if we run it and click on our file list folder, we'll have everything imported now without that error saying you're missing fonts. So lastly, let's take a look at how we can filter out some of these files. Um, I'm gonna say files equals filter files. And this is gonna be a new function we create. Let's go down here and make it. So I'll say function filter files. And the two things we're gonna want are our files themselves and then a filter or an extension that we want to use uh, to filter them out. So in our case, we're gonna bring in our files and then for our extension, we just want to use a string. Um, last time I did .jpg, this time let's try .mp4. We don't want to import any mp4 files. So now, inside of our filter files group, we need to create an array to contain our files that are filtered. Um, so what we'll do is say var filtered is equal to an empty array. And now, lastly, a for loop to run through our files again. We can just copy and paste this code here. It's the same iteration. And this time, instead of just um, doing something every time, this time we're gonna have an if statement to check whether or not the extension is in the name. So I'm gonna grab files index i, the current file we're on, and the name. So in this case, the first thing it's gonna see is file1.jpg. What do we wanna check for? We wanna check if it contains the extension that we're bringing in here, .mp4 in this case. So we're gonna say if the name we could say, is the name equal to extension? Well, no, because no file is just gonna be called .mp4. So we need to say is, does the name have the index of our extension? And does that index equal negative one? And what index of means is essentially a way to check whether any variable type you have contains a string or a bit of text. So in this case, we have our file name file1.jpg. That's the name of it. And we're gonna check the index of extension. Extension is mp4, so we're gonna search inside of this file name for mp4, but it's not there, which means we're gonna get negative one as our result. If we looked at our mp4 file, this would actually give us four or five because that's where the extension text mp4 starts at. But because it's not contained, it equals negative one. So hopefully that makes sense. Essentially, if an index is equal to negative one, it doesn't exist in whatever you're searching in. If it's other than negative one, it does exist. So we basically want to say, if it doesn't contain this extension, we definitely want that file. So filtered dot push files i. And then lastly, we can return our filtered uh, array. So now we can go ahead and run this, select our file list, and now we're importing everything except for our mp4 file. And it's just as easy to go in and change this to say AEP, and now it's not going to import our AEP file. So hopefully that helps you guys figure out how to filter and import files into After Effects. After this, you can really manipulate them however you want, add them to compositions, get data and delete them or whatever you would like. That's gonna do it for this week's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave the thumbs up button. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions or comments. And as always, thanks again for watching. We'll see you in the next one.